<sighs> it's stuck on 395 views, so I think I'm here early. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Bill and this is Trying to Stand, where I try new things in pop culture because I've been living under a rock. Not so much when it comes to this artist. Uh, I've been doing a lot of Billie Eilish videos. Uh, she was my second artist on Trying to Stand. I, I, I really don't know how to intro this too good. I She dropped a new song called My Future, Everything I Wanted, which I've done videos on both the song and the music video is up for some VMAs. That's exciting. I, I don't know what the VMAs are 100%. I don't understand it but I know what it stands for. It's the Video Music Awards, which confuses me. Um, anyway, uh, she just dropped her new song, My Future. I believe this is the video for it. Yes, okay. I'm excited. I saw on her Twitter that there's an implication that this might be animated, which we all know how I feel about animation. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I, I just need to take a minute. Six o'clock central time crept up fast. But everything I wanted, no time to die. Uh, both really showed that she still has a lot, not only to offer just in general, but also in versatility. I, I'm intrigued. A 2020 single called My Future, and plus like how supportive she's been of the movements going on right now, specifically Black Lives Matter. I'm, I'm interested. When you say it's called My Future, um, I'm intrigued. But yeah, we're just going to be listening to it, talking about it. I'm excited. I've, I've really been enjoying uh, following along with her single drops as they happen. Uh, thanks again, guys, for letting me take the time to do some shorter content this week and next week as I'm trying to mentally rest and catch up with myself. Yeah, let's, uh... Whew. I'm either walking into a bop or I'm walking into, like, an emotional moment, and I'm... It always makes me nervous, so I always stall. Alright. Oh, damn. But yay, it's animated. Cause I Ooh, Billy. Just wanna get to know myself. Yes, Billy. F yeah. I know supposedly I'm low. Oh, sh hell yeah. Hell fing yes. Oh, and I love the Miyazaki vibes. <laughs> Damn it! Hell yes! F yeah! Why is there 20 more seconds? There's just 20 seconds of black screen, that's fine. Just wanted to make sure there wasn't an Avengers post credit scene. Hell yes! That made me feel so good, which I really wasn't expecting at the beginning of this. First off, her voice is incredible, and just the runs that she goes on with it, and they just feel so effortless, but also, like, like it adds a layer of complexity to the emotion in the music. But I loved that it sort of started to simulate and beget the growth that's talked about in the song. That was amazing. I love the vibe of it. I love the message behind it too. Loving yourself, focusing on yourself, and not needing other people to define your happiness. It was specific to her and her feelings. It wasn't other people as a collective should be waiting until they're older. It's just I'm waiting to because I'm learning about myself and enjoying that, relishing in that. And like the humanity of it too, like that it's that it's a conscious choice, focus on, appreciate yourself, and it's like, are you really alone if you love yourself because you're a person too? Hell yeah. And like that pickup in it too, because it starts in this very dour, much like the animation, like dark, rainy, contemplative, and very like sad sort of start. But then as the thought starts to form and form and form and the, the the revelation of admiring exploring yourself more that drop and suddenly the tempo starting to pick up there's more instrumentals there's more life and then same in the animation there's more life in the wilderness i don't know i think it was just literally about growth but also i think about just that freedom and that revelation and shedding that notion of i know supposedly i'm lonely now i'm supposed to be unhappy without someone Damn, I really liked that. It's not only a process of growth and understanding and exploration of yourself, but also letting go of like those pressures and the freedom from letting go of those pressures. But also I think it pairs really nicely with 
the video being animated as well because it's about your future. It's about the limitless possibilities in front of you, much like the animation medium. And I really loved that. And I loved, oh, the vines or the tree roots, the plant life holding hands with Billy as she's literally being lifted up. I I just loved it. Like, I, I really enjoyed just sitting there and taking in this notion of not only like reflection but and self-care, but also like you're a changing, growing person and this person that you're attached to now or, is a, or has feelings for you now, like you're not gonna know the person I'm going to become and that's the person I'm focusing on right now. It wasn't denouncing the feelings that you have. If anything, it felt to me like it was acknowledging and honoring those feelings just that realization of like you know i'm i'm not in a place for that and why should i be lonely if i'm if i'm loving myself if i'm taking care of myself and i think that's an amazing message to be spreading and i also think it's really important right now too because i think there's something you can take away from this about relinquishing your preconceived expectations and notions of not only happiness but also the activity and productivity of this time during all of this, doing this to be happy or being with someone to be happy, like, you know, find that happiness in yourself and it helps you start to grow and understand. And I think there's something to be said about that where the social parameters of what you should be doing is not what defines your happiness. You do. Doing the thing that makes you happy, doing what's best for you. And it's not always going to seem that way at first or come off that way to others even acknowledging this other person that she's talking about, it, it's not invalidating to the people around you to be putting yourself first. It's just, you know, I'm, I don't know. I think it just, it advocates for self-care and self-preservation, but also reflection and growth, but then also the legitimacy of what you're going through now doesn't stop, create who you're becoming. You know, realizing when something's not clicking and not working and then focusing on yourself because at the beginning with the um i can't seem to focus you don't seem to notice i'm not here i'm just a mirror you check your complexion like i don't know if it's feeling used but certainly feeling like you know it's like you're no longer seeing her you're seeing a, a snapshot or a, a portrait or a picture of who she was like she's changing i don't know i just think it's about you know choosing to focus on yourself is still important and discovering who you are so you can have a complete relationship both with yourself and with other people should you choose to. I really like that and I think there's also something here about accepting the love that you have for yourself as well. Uh, the care you need to give yourself as a person and I don't know it just it had a lot of hope if that makes sense. Like I can't wait to meet her like looking forward to the future and who you're growing into. And I think it's about your choices versus uh, your current expectations as well as others' expectations and how there's nothing wrong with shifting core, like shifting course, you know, like doing what's best for you at the end of the day. And then, you know, even saying that like, this decision is gonna grow me into a better person. I can't wait to meet this new person I'm going to become but then also looking for looking forward at the person that she'll be with after all these changes when she has grown, like letting go of preconceived notions of, you know, oh, well, shouldn't you be sad? Shouldn't you be lonely? Even the song itself like starts really sad. Even I was expecting it to be a more dour spirited song given everything and it's called My Future. I think that's just it is it is so uncertain and it can change. And it felt like just a like once she addressed like, how can I really be alone if I'm taking care of myself? I'm a person too. That conscious choice to start shifting course with what will make you happy instead of the expectation. And I think you can even kind of feel it in the song, if that makes any sense at all. I think there's also something too about embracing the uncertainty and taking the time that you have to reflect and grow and figure out what's important to you and how to sort of take a hardship it sounds cliche, but like find a silver lining, I guess, or finding the ability to take time to focus on you. But I, I think it's, it's not about, you know, oh, like bad things don't happen or act like they didn't happen. It, it, it's about starting to put in that work. You know what I mean? Like starting to build and improve on yourself, your situation, ignoring, like I said, the paradigms and the boxes of our environment and just living your best life and exploring what that is through what makes you happy. Like you kind of being your own parameters and not 
just everyone else as a whole like shouldn't you be with someone isn't it sad to be lonely it's like well no i'll be with someone a when i'm ready b once i'm done focusing on myself because once i've grown and changed the person i'm going to want to be with is going to be different than what i see now and i'm excited for all these things and trying to focus on the positive possibilities behind uh the work and i think you can also kind of reflect that on sort of what's going on now like the work that we have to put into now both safety and listening to and recognizing each other and what true equality is and that we haven't really found that yet i don't know i think there's something to be said there about like the the work that's in front of you and the possibility for positive change should you choose to take on that work and not to listen to those insecure voices or those anxieties that are telling you, well, shouldn't you be focusing on these other things? Like, shouldn't you be doing X, Y, and Z? Stay how you are. Like all those fears from stepping forward and working on yourself and sort of taking those away and you can start to feel that excitement at the possibilities as the music starts to shift. And which sounded amazing, by the way, like you really started to like, like it, like I felt my whole body just kind of perk up I really like that idea. Like it's tempting to stay here, but then I won't grow. I won't, I won't be able to do what I want to do. I won't be able to grow into what I want to be. Like, it's still very validating to what you're feeling now. Who's around you now. There's nothing wrong with focusing on yourself and looking forward to the changes in your life. Like I said, the work that needs to be put in the benefits of that work later and the possibilities that could come from it. Maybe that's why there's also like 10 seconds of like nothing at the end. Like it's still kind of to address like, there's still more to do. Once you have this revelation, there's still more in front of you. Or it could have been an editing mistake. I don't know. But damn, I really like that. And I think there's something about that that we really need right now. Because it's very bare bones, the song itself and the emotional journey it goes through. It still starts in this dour place. And those feelings are still very valid. There are a lot of upsetting, sad and intense things in front of us. And a lot of harsh realities that we're facing. But then there's also that moment to start to encourage reflection and growth in the hopes of looking forward to something to look forward to. Understanding and growing and taking that time to do that for yourself and then it begets better things for yourself and others. I think it's beautiful. It, it just keeps me more and more excited for the further complexities of what she and Phineas compose and write about and choose to bring to the world like it I really like this concept of still validating what you're feeling that's down and negative but then providing you with this thought to help you create a positive as well and I like that the song acknowledges both feelings and both flavors and textures I think it balances itself really well when you think about it and I really enjoyed that and I mm, that felt really good to listen to and like right as I was starting to get scared and worried it was just up I really liked that. I've been so fried lately. I've just really needed not only something to potentially lift me up and look forward to looking ahead, but also something that very much acknowledges the grime and the gunk and the dirt and the, the negatives that is this time, but also the positives that could come from this if we work and pay attention and reflect and focus. And I, damn, I really liked that. Thank you for making something so kind as well as positive that song hangs out with level of concern for like pandemic pop i guess is what you would call it the vmas made a category for it where it was like pandemic performance which that's the name of my band i really do feel like it, it fits in that in that realm of both acknowledging but also encouraging and trying to provide a positive and helping you i thought that was brilliant i loved that damn hell yeah she is yet to disappoint me but yeah there you guys go. What do you guys think? What do you think of my thoughts? What do you think of the song? Are there other songs you want me to check out? Other artists you want me to listen to? Let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like the video if you did. Subscribe if you want more. Ring the bell. Share it. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, don't forget, guys, there are links in the description for resources on Black Lives Matter, the Trevor Project, as well as mental health resources. Please, guys, during this time, remember to stay up on what's going on in the world. Be mindful and respectful of others. And remember to take care of yourselves, please.